terrified, y'all. I can't swim. Nothing but water around me. Welcome back to another vlog. Starting it and all with a little night scene and a biker. You go first. Hey. Shit. This shit's beautiful though, y'all. Every vlog I'm reminds y'all to travel. You can't die without seeing the rest of this world. You heard it from me first. Go get your passport. Get out the hood and get in the get in the plane. Nigga. Bread feeds in my bike. All right, let's stay the night. On my way to bread feeds in my bike. All right. Yeah, girl, you annoy me, but I'd rather you do that than me ignoring me. I can never be replaced, it ain't no more me Whether you love me or you hate me, you adore me You can never leave me, uh We in this shit together, baby, you can never leave me alone I'm never too far, baby, if you need me, call my phone Oh shit, I thought this was a little girl. This is a damn mannequin. Here is very expensive. It's like three hundred dollars a plate for a buffet. It's crazy. If you did this and hung here for five, four minutes every day, within ten days, you can touch your toes. Really? Yeah. Because it's gravity. You're not, because when, when you start to feel pain and you're forcing yourself, that's when your muscle stops. But if you just relax and let gravity do the whole thing, then your muscles start to elongate. Mm. It's like a bicycle tire. You know, if you blow it up too much and then you try to, you try to, try to bend it, it's just going to repel back. That's, mm. And that's basically the same when you try to force your muscles to do something, you know? Like this, if I did this for like 15 minutes a day, after a week and a half, this elbow will probably be on this side of the head. Mm. But if I sit here and I do this and force myself, it'll never happen. Because mm. as soon as I let go, my muscles are gonna go wee. Of the ocean with a swing with a 
swing a ding ding with a swing a ding ding swing a ding ding y'all this blog all over the place man i just wanted to show y'all a few little swimming swimming clips let y'all know how i'm living out here in the maldives man highly recommend it i was talking to somebody earlier and they said we like 10 miles from the equator so I want you to open up your map while you're watching this real quick. Pause this video real quick. Open up your map and find the equator. And that's exactly where I'm at right now. Check it out. Though. This is the most beautiful place I've ever been to. I'm about to hop on this little bed right here. I don't know if y'all can hear me because of the wind. Dragon cars. Now when I say for you, the shade is a pussy little bitch. Niggas hey know me. That's my pet peeve. Look around, nigga. We in the Maldives. These is not no motherfucking regular trees. These is palm trees with the one stick. I bet I knocked the Shay and Baby Rich out with one hit. Oh! I told my engineer nigga send the shit back with one mix. I said I'm a vlog, I don't need to take pics. You niggas is bitches. We hit real licks. Oh! I had to take a PCR to get here, like I was real sick. But I said I'm 24, nigga, I'm not 19. No COVID. Oh! I'm about to cut up. Hurry up. Somebody sew it. Put me on a boat, they gonna lead me to row it. If you park in my spot without a Maybach, I'm a tow it. All right, Joe. Off the phone, I'm finna go get a massager. It's nice in here. Oh! I got drawers on, man. No homo, bro. My drawers long, and these basically shorts. So I ain't gonna call you fruit for looking. But you is looking like another man in his drawers. Told me I can't, I can't wear these. I got a um. She gave me some more drawers. The fuck? Oh! Yeah, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I gotta throw these on. My meat gonna be. This should be nice, nice and peaceful. I didn't know the bottom of the earth was this lit.
beautiful. I gotta get my toes done, boy. That shit looking bad. We just, um... So you have 90 minute hot stone massage for you today? Yeah. Any area for more concentrate for you? All right, y'all, I'm gonna give y'all a quick little room tour real fast. Currently nighttime right now. And um, quick little room tour. So y'all was popping. Check it out, walk, walk, walk. You know what I'm saying? You got the nice little couch area right there. Just like that. You got the bed right here. Very, very beautiful paradise. It's nighttime. I'm gonna show y'all what it look like in the daytime just so y'all get a little glimpse. Check it out over here. Got the candles lit right now. Three three bottles of water, because what's life without water? You know what I mean? One fun fact, being valedictorian in high school, I learned that 70% of our bodies is water. A lot of you, that must be the money call. Hold on. Got the safe right there. You know, that's where I keep my gun at and shit. That's where I keep the strap at. Just in case niggas wanna act crazy out here in the water. Sharks wanna pull up, slide or whatever. Come on here. Right here, this the bathroom. This is where you wash your butt at. You got the nice tub. But what you don't know about the tub is that you got the pump. You know what I'm saying? You fuck around, do this. Around, open it all the way up. All of a sudden, you're not just in the tub, you in the ocean. But you can't see the ocean right now because it's pitch dark. I'm gonna show you what it looked like though. Don't worry. Come over here, man. Check this out right here. Got, got the nice little mirror. And you got the two sinks or whatever. You come in the bathroom. Now, this is where it's lit at. You know, just in case. See, I'm the type of nigga where, you know, I might, I might want to. I might want to pee in the shower, you know, but I learned that it's different ways to pee in the shower. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to pee in the shower today. Guess what I did? I said, oh, and then I aimed right out here. Let it loose. I got the ocean at my disposal, but whenever I want to get to it, I just go get it. You hungry, stick your fisher rod in there. You get your little fishy fish, cook them up. You know, that's just. This is how I go on the Maldives, man. You know, big life living. It's the island life. Come out here right now. Good vibes. Good vibes. I don't know how good y'all can see. But, um, got a pool right here. Private pool on top of the ocean. Right now, the ocean is a little shaky. It's a little choppy. If I jump in there right now, this would be the last video you ever see of me. But, on some days, probably like tomorrow, a couple of days, it's going to be real calm and then I can hop in the ocean and be safe and feel good. So you got a hammock right here, as you can see. You can see the hammock coming. You know, let's put a little flash on it. You got the hammock right here, you know. If you want to lay on the hammock, you lay on the hammock. Whoa, whoa. 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 situation right here if you want to go to sleep outside um take a nice little nap everything like that other than that y'all you know y'all seen the rest of the island i try to ride the bike and show y'all a little bit that's what a real beauty at but this is a great room room is like two three thousand dollars a night 
So if you're trying to stay here in the Maldives, you gotta jump, hop, skip, and travel 30 hours. You gotta jump, hop, skip, and travel 30 hours to get here, and you gotta pay two, three thousand dollars a night, and it's not all inclusive. So if you ain't trying to spend at least 10, 15 bands, I don't advise you to come out here. But other than that, you know, it's a great vibe. I love it. It's cheaper hotels out there somewhere, woo -woo, whatever. But right now I'm at the bottom of the earth, as I keep reminding y'all and telling y'all, if you look at the equator, you go over to Africa, go down to the equator, go up a little bit, that's where I'm at right now as we speak. And it's currently, it's currently 9.34 p.m. If you stay in LA, it is 7.34 a.m. So complete time difference, completely different, but already adjusted to the time I'm already out here, man. It's the outside of the villa right here. I recorded this just in case I ain't come back in time to um, show y'all because it's probably going to be dark and shit, but check me out. The water is just hella harsh right now, though, so I can't even jump off the back. As y'all can see in the last vlog, I can't jump off the back and swim comfortably, but, you know, that's just, we just chose the wrong villa. Still nice, though private pool right here hammock oh shit I almost fell uh, yeah this if you want to vibe chill this is the most expensive hotel room I ever had. Um, like I said from the last vlog, y'all know it took me 30 hours to get here. So this, you know, this is, you know, it was worth it though. I ain't gonna lie. It's beautiful. It's great. At the bottom of the earth. Check it out. Check me out. Full privacy. So you, you know what I'm saying. Nobody can see you. It's literally just you. You ain't gotta worry about nobody peeking over their little thing. They can't get over there, can't peek through their shit. Everything is spaced out, so it's like full, complete privacy. I love it. It's amazing. I'm trying to get out of here though. <clears throat> I just want to give y'all a little review, a little nice thing, blah blah blah. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. I love y'all, man. See y'all in the next video. No cap, I'm finna go for a swim.